Oh my god, that is not the drop I wanted. Uh, I'm hunting for the Drake's Claw now for the Brimstone Boots as I want to be able to use them for al Alchemical Hydra in the future. That is uh, not really that useful as I don't have Accumulator, unfortunately. I just got enough points for an Herb Sack, so I'm just quickly going to go and buy that. So yeah, the goal of this video will be 95 Slayer and then get my first Alchemical Hydra kills. And you can see now I have 368 drakes and I'm going to use all these brimstone keys. So let's get all of them open and let's see what we get. Pretty good loot. The monkfish is going to be super good for the alchemical hydra when I do get into it. And uh, the ores and all that is pretty good at supplies. Just in the background I'll slowly work towards 74 crafting to make the combat bracelet as I haven't had the luck to get one from an elite yet. Kinda sucks the rune light client is actually really buggy right now and it's freezing like every 5 minutes for 20 seconds and it made me die at drakes so I'm just going to do 99 fire making real quick meanwhile this is going on. On one of my first crates I get pyromancer robes. I still miss I think 2 items so let's see if we can get those. Unfortunately no more pieces for the pyromancer set but this is going to be 99 fire making. And I think the point's out to claim now, I'm not completely sure on that, but yeah, let's open these. And by the way, the Snapdragon Seeds has been so extremely good from this, it's actually insane. And 9k points. I'm about to get 95 attack here, pretty close to getting maxed melee, which is really, really nice. Will give me a good amount of points, like 750 points for getting 99 in all the defense, strength and attack. So I will catch up a bit on points. So you can see in the chat box I just barely missed it, 93 slayers, so two more levels to go until hydras. Look at my nature runes though, from all these drakes, 2.5k nature runes. A drake's claw, finally, that was I think 400 kill count, something like that, 450. Uh, yeah, finally I have the brimstone boots. Look at the chat box. My friend actually just told me like, yeah, you'll get them the next trip, <laughs> and I got them. Like, 10 kills after that, so... He kind of blessed me on that one, I, I'll have to thank him for that. Uh, but yeah, that's the Brimstone Boots after 481 Drake kills. So I'll be just doing probably Blood Velts all the way to 95 and that will give me 99, I do believe, in attack, strength and defense. So I will hit 10k points for sure in this video, which is pretty nice. Completely useless, but at least it's a 60k Alk, which is actually not that bad. I mean, it's like two rune items in one drop. As you can see my attack is 97, 98 strength, 98 defense and I'm about to get 94 slayer after this one so I think it should be pretty accurate where I should land at about 99 in all melee at 95 slayer. So this will be the first of the 99s, 99 strength in just a few hits and the points are out to claim now as I said earlier. So I will get 250 points for that, 9350 points, and uh, now I will just train on attack and then defense, and after that, when I get all the 99s, I'll do shared for the rest. Wait, I didn't even notice this, 25 million hit points experience as well, for I think 250 points, and then 50 mil is 500 points. Easy 99 attack, just missed it, sorry about that, but now we are only 150 points off the 10k mark, so when I get 99 defense, I will get that. Last of the 99s, 99 defense, and you can see on the counter, I am fairly close to 95 Slayer, like maybe 250, 300,000 experience off, so shouldn't be that bad to do. So I have four Dark Totems in the bank, so I picked up a Greater Demon Task, so let's get some nice experience in Slayer from the Scotizos. Okay, first kill. By the way, the pet is 1 in 65, because uh, the Totems are kind of hard to get, but Scotizo is probably one of the best ways to get a bossing pet. But not this time, some raw anglerfish. Second kill incoming. The kills are fairly fast, by the way, it's like 4 minutes maybe I would say. So it's not that bad, but death runes, uh, that's like one of the worst drops you can get. I have way too many runes already. Can we have a pet please? That would be very nice. 1 in 65 for 500 easy points. Nope. Runeite bars can make some runa bolts in the future at least, so nah, not too bad I guess. Last kill incoming, let's see if we can get pet on this one, uh, no, battle staves, I don't know, that's decent alex, but I don't really need money right now anyways, I have a lot of it, like 5 mil in the bank. And again, I missed the level, 95 slayer, the huge level I wanted to achieve, it is now done, and look at my herb sack by the way, all these herbs from a banshee task, I wanted to do a banshee task before I get into the hydra because I kind of wanted prey potions. So again from doing slayer all the way from 93 to 95, got 14 brimstone keys, so let's get all of them open. 
Uh, yeah, just in general. The oh, that's so good. Steel bars. That's actually exactly what I wanted because I need to get 73 smithing. Actually, I didn't. I don't think I had the supplies for that in the bank previously, but I do think I have that now. Uh, is because I want to make adamantite bolts and then put. Uh, the ruby tips on them and then enchant them to make the ruby bolts enchanted which can proc 100 damage hits on alchemical hydra so any smithing experience that i can get is going to be pretty much the best thing i can get from the brimstone chest so let's get a hydra task now 139 very nice he has a twisted bow and an omelet pet dude what is that guy's luck he said he got the pet on 1kc as well Okay, so I have just above 1k steel bars, and I'm going to use the anvil here in Lova Kenj. And uh, let's see where I will get my smithing to. I'm 62 currently. I'll be back. All the steel plate bodies completed, and I ended up at 70 smithing. So I still need 3 levels, but I do have the coal and the iron ore to be able to make more steel bars. So 73 smithing is not going to be an issue. I just need to superheat a bit. Last inventory, let's uh, make some steel play bodies and get 73 smithing so I can make adamant bolts. There we go, smithing level is now completed, now I just have to get 70 mining. So mining iron ore is at this place roughly 500,000 experience for me, so if you had the mining double experience relic, this would be 1 million experience an hour, but yeah, 500k is not bad at all. Here we go, that took me roughly 40 minutes, 70 mining, let's go and 3 tick mine some adamant ores. I'm going to get I think 150 bars and make 1.5k bolts. Look at that beautiful inventory, that didn't take too long at all actually, I tried to do some without 3 ticking, that was terrible, so definitely do it. That should be the last ones, 151 adamant bars and I have all the ruby tips as well, I still have 60 rubies in the bank as well. Okay, so this is post commentary and I did actually die on the first attempt I did, but I was actually really surprised with how well I did the first try. I mean, I looked up a guide like once and I kind of understood it and uh, I mean, I did a lot of mistakes, yeah, but I actually did manage to get to the end and I will cut to that in just a bit, but uh, the ruby bolts is, I'm probably only going to use them for the last phase because... Uh, I, I don't want to use all of them instantly and uh, picking them up after the kill is really easy. I've seen some people like they stand here still like I'm doing now in the clip and then they run up and pick them up like now there's six of them stacked but I don't really want to do that all the time now that I'm not that experienced with the boss. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use broad bolts all the way until the last phase because they hit really consistently as well like the hits is not an issue really. Um, but you can see I tried to pick them up there and I don't know, it just messed with me really a lot. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm only going to use the ruby bolts for the absolute last phase. And so I can go through that real quick without having many issues. But yeah, let's just uh, cut to the end and you can watch me die. Fuck. Yeah, the two. That makes sense. Fuck. They done for Trump. Oh, yeah, that done. Holy fuck. So I did die overall two times before I got the first kill, which was the third attempt, and now I feel like I got it down. I mean, I'm using a bit too much supplies because I do fail now and then, and this is my second kill, which took me four and a half minutes. I don't think it's actually because I'm doing like that many mistakes, it's taking longer than for other people. It's just because I have no combat relics at all. And yeah, for sure, I could do less mistakes. Like, I could probably do like a um, three and a half minute kill if I perfected it way more. But as I don't have any combat relics and my gear is kind of shitty for because that's all you can really have in the leagues, uh, I will have to probably be satisfied with three minute kills as the best. Um, but I'm only going to do like 100 alchemical hydra kills probably, so I can endure it with this gear. Third kill incoming. I tried the MSB and that is definitely worse. Like look at the kill time, it's going to be, yeah, one minute worse. So I'm not going to use the MSB. I, I had rune arrows so I thought it could be better, but nah. Fourth kill incoming. Let's see what the drop is. Oh, I thought I was the mystic items first, like the robe top and the robe bottom. 
but uh, only a mystic water staff and fire staff at least it's a 50k drop so it's okay i guess but that's going to be it for this video grinding out 95 slayer and learning the alchemical hydra boss was quite an adventure and it did take quite some time but it is now done and I can actually get into really getting those 100 KC on the Alchemical Hydra, which will be really, really fun. And if I can get some of the ring pieces or get super, super lucky and get a Dragon Hunter Lance, that would be incredible. But if I don't get the full ring on the 100 kill count, which is, I would say, pretty unlikely to expect that, I will just, uh, if I get one piece or two pieces, then I will just go to these normal Hydras afterwards and finish off the ring because the ring is the main thing that I really really want. It's such a huge upgrade in stats from the ring of wealth so I don't really care about the league points for that aspect but just in general it will help me to get um, all the 50 mil in the combat stats for these and ranged and magic and all that so yeah it's definitely what I really want from the hydras. But as I said, this will be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, please leave a like. It really does help out actually. And if you have any advice on what you want me to do in the league, then leave a comment and uh, let me know what that is. And if you want to see when I post my future videos, make sure to subscribe. Look at this absolute chat about to do Hydra.